<laughs> That's Hudson's signature face. All right, so it's a week of chains. So where we left off the other day was we were fixing the chain on Hudson's bike. We ended up taking out the whole chain and replacing it because by the time the links came out, guess what? What happened? Um, that <laughs> it was too short and we got lucky. Luckily, we had a chain downstairs in my office, so we took it out. And soon we're going to have a video coming out of putting a sticker kit on a pit bike. That's it, because Hudson ordered a sticker kit for his TTR 110. 110. So after we did the chain repair, we ended up installing a set of handlebars. We also... Got some grips on there. Uh, Hudson took, yeah, we put a pro taper pad on. Hudson took some time. He took off his chain guard and they've been ripping around the house. But show them how loose the chain is. Very loose. Watch your finger boat, dude. All right, we've been like really tweaking out because we're afraid somebody's hand's gonna get stuck, which is why they have a chain guard. All right, so I'm gonna turn the camera over to Hudson. Um, he's gonna cue it up. What we have here is 10 millimeter. We also have a uh, 18 millimeter socket, socket and wrench. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, go over here and I'm gonna loosen up the back. All right, I wanna do a little correction. So when we first started filming, I said that I had an 18 millimeter. What we do have is a 19 millimeter and uh 18 18 okay so what we have on the one side come on over here hudson is the one side we have the 19 millimeter the one side we have the 18 millimeter so i guess the tools that you'll need for the project are 19 and 18. you're also going to notice that you have two different size it's basically a set screw so you'll have a larger nut up front, <laughs> Grant, Grant's up front uh, washing his bike so that he can come in and we could do the same project um, on his bike. So, so you have a, a smaller 10 millimeter and then up front you have the 12 millimeter. Um, so basically what you do is you break this loose. Um, once you break it loose, um, there's going to be a small little notches here and you're gonna just look to see where they're at so that you can evenly come back. Um, and what we'll do at that point is we're gonna look at the tension on the chain. Come over here, quick Hudson. You know the old trick from there is two fingers. So right now we have like three. So, so what we'll do take is- take one ring out so right now, right? Like yeah, maybe we're, two. We're gonna just work- Start it. by one and then one. We're gonna just one. pull it back slowly. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do, we'll do little turns on it. It looks like Grant's gonna pull, come in. So we'll take a pause real quick, and then we'll come back. Wait, Dad, can you open the garage? It won't pause. Let's look at Huddy for a second. Hello, Grant. Boom, Grant joined us. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little technical issue. All right. All right, so here we are. Here's the deal. This thing got really tight really quick. Like really, really quick. Like really, really, really quick. quick. So I was doing like the old two finger trick from here. Then I was coming from back here. I'm doing three fingers. Um, and that's from back basically my like MX. Just looking at these bikes and all of these different you know, whenever you're coming here from a chain guard scenario, just coming in here and looking. I mean, that's from like the bigger bikes and whatnot. Um, but that said, from what I noticed on these little guys, is it got really tight really, really quick. So what I basically did is I put a, a bunch of tension on it. Uh, I came back and then I adjusted it towards the um basically just evened it out on the line um it looks like there's a little play with some of the 
Why? Maybe the bearings. Not already. Yeah, a little bit in the hub. But you guys do some major riding, but maybe I'm, I might be wrong actually. It just might be loose because of the bolts. Mine's so, not yet. yeah, so it's probably just the bolts. So, in any event, I'm just talking. So, now that I have that set, typically what I do is I actually, well, on the bigger bikes, is I just tighten these down. And that's what I'm going to do on these. I'm tightening it down. These bikes get rid more than our big bikes. They do because you can ride them at home. Yeah. That's why I love the big exhaust. And I'm going to back these back in. But I like your exhaust. I'm going to get one. I got that from my shorty. Then I'm going to lock these back down. And simply, I'm just tightening it it's against each other. Fart. Grant's tooting over there. No, it was my tire. Oh. A little bit impressive, too. Yeah. Again, same exact thing. I'm just going against each other. I'm making sure that it's on the same side. Same line. No big deal. We're just tightening them um, not too much. But how? I don't get it, Eddie. Done. But why did you lose? Why? How did it change when you loosened it? Did you pull it forward and then tighten it? I'm you, sorry, buddy. Did you pull it forward and then tighten it? Yeah, so we loosened it. Yeah. We backed it out. Yeah, and then you tightened it Then again. we made sure that it was aligned on either side. Yeah. You could leave it on the bottom, whatever is best for you. We loosened the nut, loosened the axle. Mm -hmm. We aligned it yeah. by pulling back this nut because yeah. we broke this loose. Yeah. We aligned it. Mm -hmm. Then we tightened we once it was aligned mm -hmm. we tightened this mm -hmm. okay yep then we lock this then we're going to make sure this is tight okay. so i'm going to i'm going to go back through that again real quick oh, we need to get a seat. okay take right your again. seat You're right we're going to run right through it again we loosen this we loosen this okay mm -hmm. we tighten this on here to align this properly we check the tension, okay? Back up with the camera just a little bit so they can, you can see a whole perspective. Loosened it, loosened it, tightened this front nut, check the tension. Once the tension was where we wanted it to be, we tightened this bolt, then we move this nut in so that it didn't adjust again. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna tighten this one again to make sure we're perfect, which it should be. And now we're done. Woo and that is it. All right? So, now I take off my gloves. Mom made ravioli and vegetables for dinner. And now we're gonna go do this. Push after. back my hair, go and eat dinner. And now we're Boom. Gonna, and then we're, we're done. done. I have to do another one tonight or tomorrow morning. I get to do two of everything because I was blessed with twins. Say goodnight to all the pretty people. Good night, pretty people. <laughs> See you in the next video.